Uh, welcome back, slide roll fans. Uh, here I have a video uh, highlighting a certain slide roll. Um, the slide roll here is the Frederick Post Model 1462H slide roll, sometimes called the Post Trig slide roll. Um, I just wanted to do a video on this slide roll because I think it's uh, it's really neat. It has some cool features, and at the end, I'm going to give you a slide roll conspiracy um, based on this uh, slide roll, more or less. Um, Here's the case, I want to get it out of here, but uh, a little different than the later Hemi cases. Um, but uh, nice, leather. Okay. Um, so, this slide roll is made uh, by Sun Hemi in Japan for Frederick Post Company. Um, let's have a quick look first before we get into it. Uh, so, here we have the nice metal cursor. It has a bamboo construction celluloid face, typical Hemi. Um, here's the back of the slide roll. Um, okay, uh, let's go back to the front here. Um, so the 1462 um, is originally a Frederick Post slide roll um, during uh, the mid-40s, uh, the war era. Um, and it was originally made by uh, Charvaz Ruse. Um, now, where the design comes from, I'm not sure. I haven't done an in-depth uh, historical study here. Uh, but Ruse makes a slide roll uh, with with a number that I'm not sure of. the 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 Ruse slide rolls you can see online. It's it's clearly not the 111, which is a little simpler. Um, and it's not the 113. Uh, the face of the 113 is a little bit different um, on this side of the 113. Um, so uh, maybe internally it's the uh, the SR 112 from Ruse, uh, even though they didn't mark it as such. Uh, but I'm not I'm not sure. That's just a guess. Um, Anyhow, uh, it must have been a popular slide roll for Post, and uh, after the war, um, around 1949, it seems that uh, Post asks Hemi uh, to start making the slide roll exactly the same scales as the earlier slide roll, um, but with, uh, with the nicer, much nicer Hemi construction. Um, instead of painted scales, you get the engraved scales. Um, nicer quality uh, bamboo construction versus the wood construction. Metal end braces, a lot of the ruse uh, produced slide rolls um, have plastic end braces, although some are metal. Um, and the, the nice glass metal cursor um, instead of a plastic cursor, which, which was on the earlier uh, ruse version. Um, okay, so uh, these are, I think all the Hemi ones are marked post-trig. Uh, whereas the earlier ones sometimes sometimes say post trig and sometimes don't, um, and they don't have the H. The H there in the model name is for for the Hemi version. Um, uh, by the Hemi date codes, this is date code DD, and so this I think is one of the last years this was produced because DD should mean 1953. Um, online, I haven't seen any other ones from 1953, uh, so this could be the last year that this uh, slide rule was made. Uh, so from around 1949 to 1953. Um, okay, uh, so originally uh, the original version uh, was the Ruse version for Hemi. I'm uh, sorry for Post. Um, okay, uh, let's have a closer look at the uh, the scale set. Um, okay, so on this side, uh, in the in the Post literature, they say this. They call this side the um, the uh, trig side, the trig side of the slide roll. Uh, some of, oh, sorry, some of the 1462s I didn't mention, uh, they say power trig, uh, not post trig. And so here is the trig side, uh, where you have your three trig scales, uh, but you also have your standard folded scales on this side. Uh, you have decimal trig, which is nice, and I think whenever you have trig on the base, such as on this slide roll, you need to have an ST scale, which this does. So it's, it's a nice trig layout, and it's also on the uh, side with the folded scales folded at pi, so you're doing trigonometry, maybe you need to multiply or divide by pi. Um, so it's a pretty good, pretty well thought out side of the slide roll. Um, you have the CI scale here, which is sometimes useful with the trig scales. Um, okay, uh, then you have, as is typical of Hemi slide rolls of this era, uh, you have like a little extra space here where they could sneak an extra scale. Um, they tend to do that on their later slide rolls, put that extra scale on there. Okay, let's look at the back. Okay, on the back, uh, this is what Post called the power side. So here you have your A and your B scale, uh, your K scale, uh, 
your C. You notice there's no D scale on this side, which is interesting. Um, also interesting is L scale on the slide, which is less common. Um, okay, and here we have the log log scales. We have uh, the earlier style log log scales, uh, where the the ones for bases between zero and one um, are keyed to A and B instead of C and D. I have a separate video on how to use those um, old style log log scales. Okay, but pretty well thought out. Uh, you know, one side is the trig side, one side is the power side. Um, some interesting features of the uh, the power side here. Now, uh, besides the L on the the slide is the K on the slide. That's that's an interesting feature you don't see on a lot of slide rolls. Uh, once in a while, you'll see them. You see them on some French slide rolls, um, one or two uh, Rico slide rolls. Uh, but K on the slide is is kind of a interesting thing for the era, I think. Um, usually you would see it on the base, maybe near A. Um, okay, also interesting that there's no D, so you don't have a full Mannheim uh, layout subset A, B, C, D here. Um, but you do have uh, some symmetry. You've got three scales, four scales, three scales. Um, on the other side you almost have that. Uh, you just have two scales here instead of three. Uh, so pretty symmetric in terms of scale number layout. Uh, there's no scale extensions. Um, okay. Uh, consequence of the fact that there's no D here is you can't do uh, natural log or, or natural exponential directly uh, without uh, using the D scale on the other side. Uh, but that's probably a less typical use than uh, computing arbitrary powers and logs on the uh, LL scales. So overall I think it's a, it's a really nice, well, well thought out scale set um, and arrangement. Um, it doesn't have the later style symmetric log log scales, um, so you cannot do inverses directly between the two types of log log scales like you can do on later slide rolls. Okay, um, I think that that's all I want to say about the scale set. Let's have a look at a later Hemi slide roll. Uh, so in Japan, Hemi sold this slide roll as uh, the Hemi 159, um, and the 159 is later replaced by this slide roll, uh, the 259. Uh, the 259 slide roll is marketed as a mechanical engineering slide roll, um, or expert mechanical engineering slide roll. I'm not sure if the 159 was was called a mechanical engineering slide roll or not, but basically they're general purpose slide rolls. Um, basically all your general purpose scales are on them. Um, now, the 259 is a good example of the later Hemi construction. Uh, so you can see there's a lot of similarities in the construction. Uh, clearly the bamboo is celluloid. Um, is common to both slide rolls. Uh, both slide rolls have the metal end braces and the glass cursor with metal frame and plastic uh, end piece, uh, side pieces. Um, you know, some little differences in the markings, uh, the Hemi logo, um, a little bit different. Uh, this this is date code G, so uh, not it's produced very close in time to to this other slide roll. So you can see around 1950, Hemi develops this uh, this uh, frame. This frame is uh, enlarged a little bit uh, from the from the one series frame. You know, this is the 159. This is the 259. Uh, a lot of the ones are based on this frame. Um, okay, so the one frame is a little skinnier uh, than the two frame. Length is about the same. The two frames a little bit longer. Um, has a bigger cursor. Um, let's look at the thickness. Thickness uh, similar, I guess. Okay. Um, uh, you know, the cursor style changes, so let's look, compare the cursors here. Um, you can tell the later, the earlier cursor from the fact that they're flat, the frame. The later cursor has this little edge. Um, okay, so let's, let's see, this, this later frame is used for the Versalog and basically for all of Hemi's nice uh, large duplex slide rolls until the end of production, um, with exceptions for their plastic slide rolls and uh, and things like that. Uh, some of their sl later slide rolls have a slightly thicker end braces, the uh, the 260 for example. Um, okay, let's let's compare the scale set. Okay, so uh, let's look at this side which on both slide rolls has the uh, folded scales. Uh, you can see their their type has uh, changed font a little bit. Uh, so new font. I'm um, actually a little smaller on the new slide roll in places. Um, but I like the Hemi fonts in general on all their slide rolls. Um, okay, on this side now, uh, you can see the main difference between the two slide rolls is that Hemi has moved to a trig on base 
uh, style, which is a big change. So all the trig on the 259 is on the back, uh, or sorry, trig on slide um, from the trig on base style. So that's a big change. Okay, so one change, we have the trig on slide. Uh, the second change is that we uh, we now have the symmetric log log scales. So instead of these asymmetric log log scales, I've got three and three here, and then the um, additional two I have here uh, give you all the power of this one plus one extra uh, one extra range for the uh, basis greater than one. Okay, so um, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, because now they put the trig on the slide, you've got to move the things that are on the slide here off, right? So the K is now K is now back on the base, but on the other side. L is now back also on the base, but on the other side. Um, later, later Hemi 259s changed the arrangement somewhat. Um, this is this is the early arrangement. Um, okay, uh, so let's see here. Uh, also, a D scale is added to this side, um, and notice that the back of the slide here has five scales uh, squeezed in there, which is uh, getting pretty tight. So they've moved the S and the T to this back-to-back uh, -back arrangement. Um, okay. Let's see, so we've got the lay model construction. Ah, I like the 259. Uh, since it's got the D scale, uh, this side has a full Mannheim subset now, uh, which is nice. You now have the uh, ability to directly read inverses between the log-log scales. You've got the extra accuracy on those scales. Um, in, in general, it's a nice improvement. You can see there's a little room for more scales, and uh, the later 259D and 260 models uh, will use that space up. Um, the 259 is also very similar to the Versalog slide roll, uh, which was popular in the U.S. Differences between the two early 259 and the Versalog are uh, the Versalog doesn't have A or B scale, uh, so it only has four scales here, um, and then it's got an empty space up here, and then instead of A and B for squares and square roots, they add the two R scales on this side, and then the R this side is uh, completely maxed out. Um, 444 layout on that side of the Versalog, but otherwise very similar to the Versalog. Uh, the later 259 layout and the 260 layout is a little different. Um, okay, so now, as I promised you, uh, it's time for a little uh, slide rule conspiracy. So the slide rule conspiracy theory um, is that this slide rule, which maybe was originally uh, a roost design, uh, maybe it was a post design, I'm not sure, but the conspiracy is that I think this slide rule is the basis for the Aristo Studio. Uh, I haven't seen anybody uh, with this theory online, although I haven't done a done an exhaustive search. So the Aristo Studio is model 968 from a German uh, slide rule maker, Aristo. Um, and, you know, the Aristo Studio is introduced, uh, I think, around 49 or 50. Um, so the the original 1462 has already been out for a few years, um, and uh, when I first saw this slide roll, this is this is immediately what I thought because uh, it's it's uncanny. Um, so how do you make uh, this slide roll into an Aristo Studio? Um, I forgot to bring the original uh, Aristo Studio. Here's here's another slide roll which is a copy of a late model Studio. Um, okay, how do you do this? Well, uh, this side um, is exactly the same except the Studio includes a P scale. Um, the early studio does not have T2, so the only difference on this side of the slide roll is that the studio adds the P scale, which is popular in Europe. Uh, Risto already had it on their Darmstadt slide rolls. Um, okay, that's the, that's the only real difference on this slide. Some slight rearrangement, but um, that's the only difference. Um, okay, on the other side, in terms of scale set, uh, the difference is that the Aristo studio uh, moves to the more modern uh, symmetric log-log layout. Uh, but otherwise, the scales are exactly the same. Um, interestingly, this is again is a copy of a later Aristo Studio. Uh, this is a Japanese copy. Um, the early, the very early Aristo Studio has no D scale, uh, which means it has exactly the same scales as the 1462, with the exception that they go to the um, asym the symmetric log log scales. So basically, how do you get the how do you turn a 1462 into a Studio 968? Um, you add a P scale on this side. Okay, you add you add the scale extensions, also European style. Um, and on this side, you simply change it to a symmetric log log layout, and that's it. 
Um, so, slide rule conspiracy theory is that the actual inspiration for the Aristo Studio um, is the uh, post-1462 series, uh, which I'm not sure if it's originally a post design or a Charvaz design. Um, well, that's the conspiracy theory. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe somebody actually knows the answer to that question. Um, and I'd love to hear it. All right, have a nice day.